In this video, we'll talk about what happens when we put phosphoric acid with water, so H3PO4 in water. Phosphoric acid, H3PO4, it has this H in front. That tells us that it's an acid. In fact, there are three acids, and each one of those is going to come off. So we'll have H3PO4, we'll lose one of those H pluses, and then we'll have H2PO4. We'll lose that, and we'll just have HPO4. So let's talk about how this happens. First of all, we need to recognize H3PO4 as a weak acid, and this is just something you need to memorize. So here's a table with strong acids, strong bases, weak acids, and weak bases. We don't see H3PO4 on the strong acid, so it must be a weak acid. Here it is right here. Because it's a weak acid, that means it's not going to break apart or dissociate completely into its ions. So if we look at our equations again here, we see this equilibrium symbol here. We don't have that straight arrow. So H3PO4 will add it to water. It'll lose this H plus and have H2PO4, but some of this is going back to H3PO4. So it's an equilibrium. For the H3PO4, it loses that first H plus. That's the easiest one to lose. Losing this other one here from the H2PO4, that is more difficult. And finally, for this HPO4, 2 minus, when it loses this H plus here, this one, that's the most difficult one for it to lose. We should write aqueous after each one of these ions because they're dissolved in this water. Let's put an AQ after the H plus here. And I won't write it for all of these, but all of these ions, they're going to be aqueous. We should also note that this H plus is aqueous. It's in this water here. So what happens is the H plus joins with a water molecule to form H3O plus. So sometimes you'll see this written instead of H plus, H3O plus. It's the same thing. We consider them to be equal. So to recap, H3PO4 is a weak acid. Because it's a weak acid, it won't dissociate completely. But if we have some H3PO4 in water, some of it will change into H plus and H2PO4 minus. Some of this will lose a hydrogen, form this HPO4 2 minus, and some of this will lose its last hydrogen to be PO4 3 minus, the phosphate ion. All of these are happening at the same time, and we have these different equilibrium set up. This is Dr. B discussing what happens when we put H3PO4 plus H2O. Thanks for watching.